Too late isn't in your vocabulary. Reach your next goal at University of Maryland Global Campus. Get the accredited education you want wherever you are, on your own schedule. UMGC offers online degrees and certificates to help you level up your skills. Apply now and save with no application fee through May 31st. For more than 75 years, UMGC has been transforming adult lives. Access online courses, faster onboarding, and success coaches that help you along the way. Plus, UMGC makes an accredited online education more affordable than ever with scholarships, interest-free payment plan, and no-cost digital resources in place of most textbooks. Choose from more than 125 degree and certificate programs in career-relevant fields and receive lifetime career services at no additional cost. Gain skills local employers are looking for in business, cyber, IT, healthcare, and more. Get started on your undergraduate or graduate degree or certificate online. No application fee if you apply by May 31st. Learn more at umgc.edu slash podcast. Certified to operate by CHEV. Hey, Mama, have you been looking for guided meditations that can really speak to this journey of motherhood? Then check out the Meditation for Moms podcast, free guided meditations that are here to help support you throughout the entire journey of motherhood. Motherhood is no joke. It's full of incredible highs, heartbreaking lows, and everything in between. Meditation for Moms gives you guided meditations that will speak to your soul no matter what season of motherhood you're in. Listen for free today. Follow Meditation. Meditation for Moms on your favorite podcast player. This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 983. The Side Gig, Everything You Need to Start Earning on the Side, part one, by Ramit Sethi of IWillTeachYouToBeRich.com. And I'm Dan, I'm your host here, and welcome back to Optimal Startup Daily, or welcome for the first time if you're new here. This is where I simply read articles to you every day, and those articles come from blogs that cover business and entrepreneurship. And today we're going to hear from Ramit Sethi, who's been featured quite a lot over the years on one of our other shows, Optimal Finance Daily. So I'll read the first half for you right now and then finish up this post tomorrow because it's on the longer side, so we're breaking it up into two. So for now, let's get right to part one and start optimizing your life. The Side Gig, Everything You Need to Start Earning on the Side, part one, by Ramit Sethi of IWillTeachYouToBeRich.com. How do you take your hobbies and skills and turn them into a profitable side gig? Let's say you have a passion for organizing or you like to write in your spare time. How can you help that make you $200 a month, $500 a month, or even $5,000 a month on the side? I've worked with thousands of students and I've found the number one reason people don't start making money on the side is this. They don't know where to start. So today I'm going to show you three things. One, why freelancing is an easy way to make more money even with a full-time job. Two, how I used a seemingly common quote-unquote skill to make money in college. And three, how to turn your skills and hobbies into a service people will pay for. Freelancing, the easiest way to make more money on the side. There are a few things that we need to acknowledge up front. First, out of the three easiest ways to make money, the easiest way to earn money on the side is to freelance. You can start earning money immediately, you can rapidly test your offerings, and you can cut through the unnecessary work of productizing and increasing your salary. Second, 95% of jobs can translate into related side gigs, but 5% of jobs could not. For example, you don't see any freelance cardiothoracic surgeons. And third, just like dating, it'll probably take repeated failures to find a good match between your hobbies and what the market wants. That last point is very important. Sometimes people spend so much time building up a business with business cards and websites and licenses that when they actually launch and find the market won't pay for their offering, they give up, exhausted and frustrated. I'll show you how to streamline the process so you can rapidly test ideas and refine them. Two examples, turning hobbies into side gigs. Example number one, how I use these principles to launch this site. I originally started I Will Teach You To Be Rich as a one-hour free course that I taught at Stanford. It was never designed to make money, it was just something cool that I wanted to do. When I'd hear friends complaining about money at the dining hall, I'd say, hey, you should come attend this class I put together. It's free and it takes about an hour and I'll show you all the basics of money, banking, budgeting, saving, and investing. The response was very positive. People said, wow, that sounds awesome. And then they would never show up. Repeatedly, over one and a half years, I struggled to have anyone show up. I would wonder to myself, 
Why am I trying so hard to give people good, free information about stuff they really need to know? I felt like a career counselor, one of the most underappreciated and hopeless jobs. After trying all kinds of strategies to get people to attend, including emailing them and trying to coordinate times, I switched approaches. Instead of in-person events, I launched IWillTeachYouToBeRich.com so people could read it out of the comfort of their own dorm rooms. Later, I learned why this was so successful. People don't like attending events about money because, one, it makes them feel bad about themselves. Two, the events are usually boring and or scammy. And three, people have to publicly admit they don't know about money. It was a classic mistake of not understanding my users. Substitute customers in your business. Lesson learned. You must get into your clients' heads. What are their fears and hopes? What do they care about most? Hint, how much it costs is almost never the first priority. Similarly, once you get in their heads, you learn that the medium in which you serve your clients matters. Is it an in-person event or a blog or a weekly phone call? The way you approach your client matters and the way in which you sell to prospects matters. Example two, how I consulted for venture capital firms. Like all of us, I know how to use YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. During college, I was able to turn that into consulting gigs with multiple venture capital firms who wanted to learn how young people were using consumer services on the web. This consisted of me giving them a course each week on online music, videos, social networks, etc. Would you have ever thought you could turn your daily routines into a side gig? I wouldn't have before I landed those gigs, but people were willing to pay for it because they had concrete needs. They wanted to understand how young people were using new technologies so they could remain sharp investors. Money wasn't an issue, but time was. They'd rather hire someone who lived it than try to learn themselves. Once I'd established that I was skilled at these services, and more importantly, that I could create an effective structure for teaching the VCs, they hired me. Lesson learned? It's not enough to simply be good at something, whether it's freelance writing, dog walking, or graphic design. You need to know why people want your skill. To be continued. You just listened to part one of the post titled The Side Gig, Everything You Need to Start Earning on the Side by Ramit Sethi of IWillTeachYouToBeRich.com. As an entrepreneur, you know that every hire counts, but that doesn't mean that the time you spend looking for qualified candidates should be a second job. Find top talent fast with Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform helping over 3 million businesses worldwide to do it all. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates. Over 80% of Indeed employers find quality candidates the moment they sponsor a job. I especially love Indeed's Instant Match feature because candidates you invite to apply through Instant Match are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who only see it in search, according to US Indeed data. Indeed knows that when you're growing your own business, you have to make every dollar count. That's why with Indeed, you only pay for quality applications that match your must-have job requirements. Visit indeed.com slash startup to start hiring now. Just go to indeed.com slash startup. Indeed.com slash startup. Terms and conditions apply. Cost per application pricing not available for everyone. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Now through September 1st, you don't need a ticket to ride VRE on Fridays. Safe, clean, comfortable, and convenient. Their trains are a relaxing way to commute or visit D.C. You can enjoy the amenities while VRE does the driving. Their trains run on two lines, Fredericksburg and Manassas, into D.C. in the morning and back home in the afternoon and evening. Experience a commute like no other. Learn more about Fair Free Fridays at VRE.org. And of course, thank you to Ramit for a really enlightening post, which I'm going to finish up tomorrow. Ramit Sethi is the author of the New York Times bestseller, I Will Teach You To Be Rich, and writes for over a million monthly readers on his site, where he covers psychology, personal finance, careers, and entrepreneurship. His unusual combination of psychology, analytical testing, and his irreverent style led Fortune magazine to call him the new finance guru on the block. His book has gotten terrific reviews over the years, including from my wife, who read it and lent it to friends and uh, really changed her outlook on finances, so it is definitely worth checking out. And Ramit will make appearances on TV regularly. You'll see him on ABC, PBS, and he periodically writes for the New York Times as well. He studied social influence and persuasion at Stanford and previously co-founded PB Works, a Silicon Valley collaboration startup. So you can come by IWillTeachYouToBeRich.com to learn much more And of course, I'll have the second half of this post for you tomorrow.
Okay, that's going to wrap up another episode of Optimal Startup Daily. I thank you so much for joining me today and be sure to do the same tomorrow where we're going to finish up this post and where your optimal life awaits.